that the one? That's it. <laughs> terrible drivers. It was all right. I took 66 most of the way. What's the name of this place? This is Tower Grove Park. We'll meet here in the morning. Get us a room? There's a place near me. Looks all right. You better see for yourself here. Okay. You're Fowler. I'm John Egan. This is Willie. Hi. You've driven before, Pagino? Not exactly. He's all right, John. When were you inside? What? Time. How much time have you done? Look, I said he was all right. Well, I've never been to prison, sir. What are you, some kind of college boy? No. <laughs> What's the letter? It's just a letter. What is this, anyway? You've been on a job before. No, sir. Nice going. Two days notice. What do you want? I don't like going out with somebody I don't know. I know him. I know him since he's a kid. He can drive okay and he's got the nerve. You know what this job means to me. He's all right. Let's get to what we're here for. This looks like a good one. Never been touched, no bank card. Good location. Five streets come right in here at this corner. Two of them lead directly to the highway. We won't be on any one of them after six blocks, but they'll have to watch it. All those streets, they'll be lucky if they get our direction. Hey, move over, will you? Sorry. Don't mean nothing. Just bothered me. What about the money? Finger says Friday. They do a big payroll business and have to have cash. How much do you think, John? 100,000 or more. And a till? That's right. We don't fool with the vaults. What about the split? The usual 10% to the finger. The rest we cut down the middle. They're 20,000. My lawyer's going to love me. What about Fuzz? It's a good location. They haven't had a bank job in 20 years. Lots of fat cops and lots of old. Can you bankroll it? I'll take care of Willie and me, but you two will have to get your own eating money. Why don't we go? I'm not sure. Maybe a week from Friday, maybe longer. There's a lot to do. It's cutting it close for me. When's your trial? Three weeks. The lawyer wants it on the line before he does anything. You'll have plenty of time. What do you want us to do, John? Here's the schedule. We case it two hours every morning for the next five days. You each have four 15-minute shifts. I don't mind if you overlap a little, but I don't want you hanging around too much. Now you know what to look for. Scout cars, beat men, when the money truck's in, traffic, anything unusual. It's all down in the schedule. You get those plates? I don't have time. Well, that's all right. We'll let George try it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right with you, Georgie boy? Sure it is. Is that all? One thing more. No women. <laughs> you have the brains you were born with, you ought to know it. What about Willie? You think you can stand it? I mean it, Gino. This is my last one. I don't want it gummed up. Don't worry. I'll read a book or something. What about our college boy? Who? Eh, I'm getting hungry. Is that all?
Stick around, Fowler. Listen, what's this he wants me to do? Nothing to worry about. Look, Gino, I told you before I came down here. I said I'd drive, and that's all. You told him that. Relax. Okay, but that's all I'm going to do. I heard you. You got any money? No, I thought you said you could take care of it. I haven't got enough. Great, I don't have any, just a couple of bucks. You know, Ann lives here. So what? Suppose I go get the room. After you get through with Egan, why don't you go see her? No. Try and get 50. 100 if you can swing it. I wouldn't ask her for anything. Tell her it's for me. Look, Georgie, this ain't the university. You got to do some things you don't like. I don't want to see her, Gino. I never blamed you for what happened, did I? I'm her brother, and I never blamed you. You know, you wouldn't look so good preaching me a sermon. Okay. I got family feelings like anybody else. I don't think I'd ask you if I had any choice. Thanks. Look, you got to pull your own weight. You want to miss a chance at 20000 because we haven't got a lousy 50 bucks? I wouldn't know what to say to her. You ready, Father? Yes, sir. See you later. Let's go. I want a Missouri license. One that's kind of banged up, not too easy to read. Look, Mr. Egan, I don't know what Gino told you about me, but I didn't come here to be a petty thief. I said I'd drive a car, and that's all. Is that right? Well, I know it sounds funny, but I'm no thief. Look, Fowler, you're going to be our wheel man. Our neck depends on you. Yes, sir. I, I'll take care of my end. I just don't see why I have to do something that somebody else could do better. I want to see your work. Now, do you get out, or do we get another man?
You'd be in Chicago by now. You in a hurry? Okay, we wait. You just let me know when. <laughs> You're okay, Georgie. You're okay. Let's go. late. I got tied up with the sale. You haven't changed much. Neither, neither of you. Oh? No, no, I mean you look the same. You even look prettier. I've changed a lot, George. Yeah, I see you're drinking martinis now. <laughs> Pardon me, only half. Oh, beer, please. I haven't changed so much. What do you want, George? This is a nice place. Do you come here often? No, I don't. They all kind of dress the same, don't they? <laughs> Mostly our age, college kids. They don't look like anybody we used to know. Not everybody's alike. Is that right? What do you want, George? Gino asked me to see you. I should have known you wouldn't come on your own. You made me promise. Where is he? Chicago. He, he needs some money. If he doesn't get it, they might put him away for good this time. If you're lying to me, I... Look, Anne, I don't blame you for not trusting me. I know as far as you and I have been concerned, I've been a flop. So why take it out on Gina? How much does he need? Well, 50 would help out a lot. I can make this out to Gino. Sure. It's his money, isn't it? Thanks. 
He said he'd give it back to you in a week or so. Maybe a little more. It's all right. I don't really expect to see it again. Well, I, I guess you'd rather be with somebody else tonight. I have a date. That's what you mean. Well. Well. I'll see you again sometime. What are you doing, John? What do you care? Wish we had our own bath. I don't like going down the hall all the time. Don't wash so much. John. John. Why can't I drive? I did all right in South Bend. Where does that punk get to? You're inside where I can watch you. I can do it. You've got pink ears, Willie. What makes you think that punk can do any better? He's a good boy. I bet he runs. You're getting fat, Willie. Lay off. Remember when you came inside? Good looking kid then. Regular mama's boy. Shut up. Yeah, I thought they were going to kill you that first week, till you found me. 
I took good care of you, too. You did five standing on your head. But you're getting old, Willie. What about you? You see that, George? Maybe we ought to take him to Mexico with us. <laughs> Would you like that? Leave me alone. Go take a bath, Willie. I don't want to. I said go take a bath.
sir? Uh, no, no, thank you very much. Uh, I was just looking. Are you looking at a new 58 model here? Uh, no, no, thank Same you. Mark? I was just looking. Uh, I'll let you know if I decide on anything. Well, here's my call. You decide, you touch a piece. All right. Honey, you can't love ten. You can't love ten and me again. I'm a leaving on the midnight train. Oh boy, hit the road. Hot dog, yeah, leaving on the midnight train. Coffee with cream. Oh, honey, you can't love nine. Honey, you can't love nine. You can't love nine and still be mine. I'm leaving on the midnight train. Oh boy, hit the road. Hot dog, yeah, leaving on the midnight train. Well, honey, you can't love eight. Honey, you can't love eight. You can't love eight and keep our day. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead, I'm just leaving anyway. My dog is even on the midnight. You can't love seven and go to heaven. I saw Gino. What do you mean? George, I'm not a fool. I know what you're doing. But you must have made a mistake with Gino's in Chicago. No. I saw Gino and you. And that. You're crazy. Salesman. I should have known. Shut up, will you? I can't talk to you now. I'll see you this afternoon at the bar. We'll talk about it now. I'll see you the same time. All right, George. But you better be there. I'll be there now. Get out of here, will you? Get out of here. How about cops? Well, there was a scout car at 9.43. That was the only thing on the ship. What about 10.45 to 11? The place was crawling with him. There's a beat man 10.47. Come in and have some coffee. Did he look you over? No. Anyway, there was a cruiser at 10.55, and then just for 11... Are any of them all clear? One shift. 10 to 10.15. You know, i never seen anything like that before. That's the greatest. Just some things ought to be on there that aren't on there. Like what? Why don't you ask Georgie boy? Hey, now that we got this thing looked over, why don't we hit it this Friday? Just one day. We've got to check it for at least four or five before we can be sure. What is this, D-Day or something? Man, you're going to fool around, fool around. Somebody's going to get picked up. Come on, Gino. He knows what he's doing. How would you know? Shut up, Willie. Now, all of you pay attention. This is King's Highway going south. This is southwest. The number three car comes down here, stops at this door. Willie and I get out. Gino, you go around and get in here. When you give the high sign, we all go in. I head for this desk and get up on it. Willie goes over the counter here, starts with this cage, works all the way down. What am I doing? Two things. 
The first thing you do is to get the girl away from this switchboard. We got the switchboard tied off, they can't call the cops. Don't they have an alarm? Sure. We've got to figure they hit it the moment we come in. We still have two minutes. You can get a lot of money in two minutes. Suppose he doesn't finish the cages. Anything we don't get in two minutes, we leave. I don't like it. Butterball will never finish them all. I still don't understand. How come we have all that time? <laughs> Man, them cops get half a dozen alarms a day, and they're all phony. Tellers kick them, cleaning woman, million reasons. I got five minutes. We're leaving at the end of two. You want to stay, you're welcome. Now, look here. As soon as you get the telephone girl, you get all the customers lined up with their backs to us. I'll pass these out in the car. Masks, George. I don't want these farmers getting a good look at us. At the end of two minutes, we all go out the front door. Where's the car? I'll show you. We'll do a dry run. Just one thing, John. What? Something I saw this morning, I forgot to put it on the chart. Well, what? A girl. The one Georgie was talking to, I forgot to mention it. You're crazy. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm crazy. I saw you with her. <laughs> what about it, George? Well, sure, some girl sat down at the table. We're in the other seats. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't remember it until just now. Boy, you did some job watching that bank, Willie. You can't pull that. He's lying, John. That punk thinks he can get away with anything. I saw him, John. I was standing... What were you looking at, Willie? I just turned my head for a moment. I saw them. Didn't I tell you not to hang around? But they were, I tell you. What's the matter, Willie? Nobody love you anymore? But I tell you... Now, listen to me, all of you. I don't care whether you like each other or not. You keep your personal feelings out of this. You understand, Willie? You tell him, Coach. Leave your cars here. We'll take the Buick. Did you want me to drive? <laughs> what do you think? Come on, Willie. What's the matter? I want to talk to you. Later. We'll stash the number three car around here, off the street. How about up here, just around this corner? Stop when you get there, George. What do you think? It's all right to me, John. How about parking signs? Anything like that? It's okay. All right. This is Magnolia, right? That's about ten blocks. Looks okay. Let's try it. You got the watch? Yeah. Turn off the engine. Gino, when I tell him to turn it on, you hit the watch. George, you drive right out of here, down two blocks, turn to the right. Watch the speed limit. Okay. Ready? Now. Two minutes, thirty. No, twenty-three seconds. You're sure? See for yourself. All right. Now, you see that traffic light down there? It's a long green and short red. I timed the red this morning. Twenty-one seconds. We've got to pull out of here so you can let Willie and me out. Hit the green. Make the corner before you let Gino out. How long was the red? Twenty-one seconds. I think we ought to leave about five seconds after it turns red. Let's try it. 
It's red. Two, three, four, now. Look now. Pretend we're getting up. Not yet. Okay, we're out. Go ahead. We started too soon. I know. Now you got it, go ahead. Right here. You get out here, Gino. We'll be standing by that door. When you get out, you case all the streets. If there's anything you don't like, anything at all, we don't go. You just get back in the car and go on. Willie and I'll meet you on Southwest where we stopped. Is this okay? You're a little too far. We're coming out the front. What happens if this place is taken? Double park, you use the bus. Sir. Why don't we use this side door? It's locked. I don't want to fool with it. Pull up a little ways, George. We don't want to hang around here. George will have a radio tuned to the police channel. You listen for anything about the Southwest Bank. The moment there is, you get out of the car and tap on the window. Do you know you watch for it? Okay. One more thing. If anything goes wrong, I don't think it will, but just in case. George, you've got to cover us. We're coming out that front door. If anybody gets in the way, you get him. You don't think anything like that's gonna happen, do you? One chance in a minute. How about the getaway? We'll go over that now. We just go down here till we're out of sight, cut back to the getaway car. Georgie, how you like all the masterminding? <laughs> <laughs> all right, are you gonna sit here all day? <laughs> Cigarette? Oh, I'm sorry I was so rude this morning. I, well, I had a real tough morning. I think you got too much imagination. What do you sell, George? What? What do you sell? Oh, books, encyclopedias, things like that. How much are they? What do you mean? How much are they a set? Mm, about ten dollars. I thought you were a better liar. <laughs> it's really none of your business what I'm doing. George, you made it my business. I'll pay you back. With what kind of money? Take it easy now. Money? I don't think I know you at all. No different. When we were expelled, is that when it started? <laughs> Come on. Will you stop acting like I'm a gangster or something? I'm no different. And Gino? I'm not him. All right, George. What are you? I'm driving a car. That's all. I'm just driving a car. And I'm going back to school. And that's the truth. I know. I know I was going to call you. Not now. But later, when I got some money. 
Were you? You don't think very much of me, do you? I think I'm sorry for you. Look, they come around and they promise you everything. They keep you in college because you can do something well. They make you feel like you're God or something. One mistake. And you find out you're just hired help. Do you believe that? Well, it's the way it is. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I got my chance simply because I could run harder than some other guy. But if I want a chance now, I've got to grab it. What do you mean, a chance? A chance to do what? I... See, now, I... I don't want to go through life, you know. I never get back to where I was. What can I tell you? I don't know all the answers. I only know what happened to us. When you walked out of me, it hurt. But I can see now that you're the one who's really hurt. And if you do this thing, you'll run yourself rotten. Another Gino. Pretty soon you won't remember you or ever anything else. What are you going to do now, Anne? I'm not any different. George. Don't do anything crazy now. I don't know if I can let you do this. Don't talk like that. I gotta go now. Just don't do anything crazy. Give it up. Please. Be sensible? I think so. What does that mean? She won't do anything. I hope not, Georgie. Nothing she can do. Can love eight. Can love eight and keep our date. I'm leaving on the midnight train. Oh boy, hit the road. Dog, yeah, even on the midnight train. Can't love seven in the when it comes in, let me know. I'll be sitting over there. Okay. You love five, you love five. Can't love four and love me more. Can't love three. Honey, you can't love three. Can't love three and still love me. I'm leaving on the midnight train. Oh, boy, hit the road. Always stay one ahead. Yeah, on the you never train. go thirsty. That's planning. Hey, John, you must have met a lot of guys on jobs, I mean. That's possible. Have you ever known a guy who just did one and quit? You know, made a lot of money and bought a business or something. Sure. That's what I'm going to do. How come you never did it before? I did. A couple of times. Once I even had a farm. What happened? Oh, things happen, that's all. I don't know. You get to feeling like a square and the money isn't too good. Oh, sorry, Michael. Get out of your tramp. Hey, who do you think you're talking to? Stay away from him, George. They're not all like that. 
You know, when I was born, 1897, I went to work when I was 12 years old. 12 years old and 12 hours a day. Do you know why? Because my old lady wanted beer money so bad, I figured she wouldn't beat me because I wouldn't be able to work. But she was so dumb, she didn't figure it out. I made a mistake. What time is it? About 10. So that's what I say, Georgie, stay away from them. What happened to her? Your mother. She got everything back. Everything she handed out. You know what? She couldn't take it. wear those skirts. Hobo skirts, they call them. She went running out into the hall. I guess she's still drunk, I don't know. We lived on the second floor. 33 steps. I used to count them when I came home. Thirty-three steps. And she lay there at the bottom of the stairs like a bundle of laundry. A bundle of laundry. Tell you sometimes you got no consideration for anybody. You make me run out on Fred. I want to see. Job's over, huh? How'd you like to take a trip, go to Mexico? Oh, I don't know, huh? I'd like to try to get back to school. Well, you, you've got two months, haven't you? I kind of hate to spend the money, John. Uh, forget the money, forget it, it's a bonus. You ever been there? I've never been anywhere. Just North Carolina in the Army. <laughs> well, think it over. John? Are you the party? What do you got? How much do you want? 25 a piece. 40 for the boat. Let's go out in the car. I want to look them over. Where is the car? Relax. Right in front of the door. Come on, Georgie. <laughs> okay, satisfied. Your $100 is all set. Now, come on. How do we know it is? 
I bet it isn't. Look, enough's enough. I'll bet. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't? Wouldn't it? <laughs> Listen, we ought to tell them. <laughs> You want to play a trick? Like Halloween? <laughs> It'll be funny. Hey, have you gone nuts? Cut it out, will you? Cut it out, will you? <laughs> but it's a joke, don't you see? You know you could get in trouble for this. <laughs> but it's funny. Isn't it funny? Well, if you want to go to jail, that's up to you, but not me. I'm going now. I'm telling you. Okay? Will you come on? <laughs> that is funny. What are you guys doing here? What time is it? Shut up. One of you two shot off his mouth. Are you bugs? What's the matter with you guys? Fowler, who was that girl? Who was she? Said there wasn't any girl. Would somebody tell me what's going on here? Tell him, Willie. You tell him and I'll watch. When I went out for coffee, I drove by the bank. There's a sign in lipstick. I nearly wrecked the car. Quote, warning, you will be robbed. End of quote. Kidding? You can bet I'm not. All right. Who was it? That's the way you want it. Where are you going? That's the end of this job, Gino, right now. Are you crazy? Who's going to believe something like that? Now, there was a gag. The sign don't bother me. Who wrote it bothers me. Come on, punk. Who was the girl? I told you once, I don't know. Look, we got to do this job. How do you know it wasn't kids? I don't, but I'm not going to hang around to find out. Wait a minute, Egan. I got something to tell you. Gino! I told you to shut her up. You don't know it was her? Who was it, Gino? My sister. She used to go with him. All right, Fowler. Egan, I didn't tell her anything. I'll bet. It wasn't my fault. She saw Gino coming out of the bank. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> hey, cut it out! How many of you caused this enough trouble? You fine, John. You saw what he did. Shut up. How about it, Gino? She a fink? No. Well, anyway, I don't think so. You're not sure? Well, I... No, no. She tell anybody? How do I know? I don't know if she did it, neither do you. You must think a lot of her, Fowler. You sure aren't thinking about us. What are you going to do? You let me worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, George. For what you did in the old days... At... You better worry about yourself. I don't want to hurt, you know what I mean? Isn't that up to me now? Okay, I got nothing to do with it, but no rest What is she to you, anyway? I thought you were through. Okay, I'm out of it. It's up to you, okay? Okay. You're gonna help us find out a few things. Get dressed. Did you do it? 
George, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't care. I've got to know, Anne. Did you do it? Do what? Don't play games, Anne. Did you do it? I didn't tell the police, if that's what you mean. Answer me. Did you do it? Yes! I don't know why I did it. All I know is I can't let you go through with this. What are you doing? Do you want to get me killed? George. George, please let me help you. I have a good job, and you can have your chance. On, only do it my way, please. All right, Father. Gino. Hi, sis. Long time no see. Get out of here, Gino. Gino. Go get her things. George? Tell him to leave. Okay, Father. Pack up your stuff. We'll meet you in the park. Take it easy, Egan. She didn't tell anybody. She didn't do anything. All right, Fowler. Which way do you go? George? It's all right, honey. Now, don't worry. Everything's all right. But I got no choice. You do. I'm asking you, Fowler, for the last time. George, you can't run out of me again. You can't. It'll be all right. You just do what they say. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Go on, George. Never mind. You just like him. You might as well. You stay with her. No rough stuff. Oh, sure. I mean that, Gino. Sis, you know better than what you did. You'd have sent me back. You should have known better. Look, I want you to go away for a couple of days. Go to Chicago. You're sorry for what you did, right? You keep your mouth shut? Don't believe her. You keep him off me, John. I'll spill him all over this room. Willie. It's too late. Listen, if anybody thinks it's funny you're leaving, you send him a note, see? Go finish your packing. Stay with her, Willie. You know what you're doing? You don't lie to me. It's our next. I know it. Okay. You go keep your eye on Fala. We'll see her off. Why don't I wait? I want you to watch George. I don't trust him. All right, John, but no rough stuff. Now I'm telling you. I got nothing against her. Okay, I'll see you back there. You keep your eye on Fala.
You left her there? I told you she'd be all right. You left her there with those apes? Well, what did you do? You were supposed to watch her. I tell you she'll be all right. She's going to Chicago. We'll see her there. Tomorrow night, if you want to. You could. Don't talk to me! Gino. He had to leave. There's a back way out of here. There's a fire escape. You get the car, we'll meet you in the alley. Coming with me. He's what? He's a real man. He doesn't need you. Why, you Shut don't... up! Why do you talk so much? Next thing you'll be calling the cops. I said I wouldn't. You said a lot. Thirty-three steps. Thirty-three steps to the bottom. Can we go now? You can't take it, can you? I'm going down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Tomorrow. And what the split in the car, Egan? That's not a good idea. I don't care if it is or not. I don't want to see your face again. You heard me? You better tell them about the car, John. Tell them who's driving. Willie's driving. Oh, no, he's not. You heard me! Yeah, I heard you, but I'm not listening, old man. That's all, Fowler. You don't like a takeoff right now. All right. Then do what you're told and keep your mouth shut. Willie drives. I do the cages, right? George doesn't have the experience. Yeah. I can trust you. Gino does the cages. All right with you, Fowler. That fat tub of lard is going to run, Egan. You said I could, John. You better not change your mind. You just better not.
Willie drives. There won't be any trouble. Ah, oh, listen, you guys, we're gonna be all right. I mean, cheer up. You laughing about all this tomorrow? You'll see. Yeah, sure. Hey, George, why don't you say we go get a drink? Take your mind off your troubles. Hey. Who do you think he is, anyway? You'll just sign here beneath her signature. That's right. Now, you both understand that with a joint account, either one of you may at any time make withdrawals. Do we understand. Think I can trust you, honey? <laughs> well, are you just married? No. No, we've been married two months already. Yeah, it seems more like two years. <laughs> oh, Eddie, honestly. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're sure there won't be any interruption in service? Oh, not at all. The calls will go through the switchboard downstairs. Where's the radio? You didn't tell me to bring a radio. I... Never mind. We start the count when we go in the door. You didn't say anything about a radio. Shut up. Two minutes, Gino. I'll tell you when. What about the people coming? What do I do with them? Let them in, shove them against the wall. Slow down. Get ready. Two, three, four, not yet. Seven, eight, now. Watch the door. You tell us. Put your hands behind your heads and keep them there. Don't move. I'm not kidding. All of you turn your backs. Hurry up, you farmers. You think I'm kidding? Do what he says, honey. You want to get killed? Do what he says. Now! 
I said now. Dispatcher. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Make mine a ham on rye and a coffee black. Ham for your number is Southwest Bank, yes, sir. David 2, Cruiser 29. The hold up alarm is sounding at the Southwest Bank, Kings Highway and Southwest. 10 11. Seconds. Just hold on, honey. It's almost over. <laughs> They let him out. What did they have to stop him for? <laughs> It'll be over in a minute. I told you'd run, Egan. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, but I told you. What you want me to do? 
Let him shoot his mouth off to Gino? But what? You cannot get out otherwise. You are completely covered. Your driver has been caught. About what? I appeal to you. Huh? Please let us avoid useful bloodshed. Give up now. Get a hostage. We'll go out the front door, try and get a car. We haven't got a chance. You want to stay here? You want to get sent back up? All right. When do you get up? <laughs> you! Take your head off. Oh, no, please. Why don't you give yourself up? Move. You coming? What happened to her? You tell me. What do you think, punk? Dispatcher, I got a description on it to getaway car. It was a black Buick bearing LRI's license plate, 866 735. 866. Is that your wife? Then get her up. Eddie, Eddie, don't let him. What's it gonna be? Cause I'll kill you right now. Honey, he means it. He'll kill me. Honey, I can't. That's right, Eddie. You can't. Now get her up. Now listen. 
we're going to try and get out of here if they don't get us first. what she said. Here. Take the gun. Thank you. 